My name is uh, T.V. Moore. It's uh, Timothy Vernon Moore. Uh, no pun intended. For this particular exhibition, I've chosen a really salon style of work, which um, does combine video elements, um, but traditional sculptural elements and 2D elements as well. So that's like a found image and then that's yeah, okay. something that, which obviously I've fabricated and made. It's kind of nice to finally see it. It was very clear in my mind, even though I'm still experimenting, but it's happening how I want it to happen. And I'm sure there'll be bumps in the road, but that's, uh, that's the fun part. It's kind of like, can you tell or not? So today, yeah, documenting, working, fluffing around, getting my stickers done on the mirror and finishing up. It's something, it's ridiculous, I mean, it's something I can play with. I kind of like that. I'm particularly interested in, or in this particular show, using the double, as it were, um, as the idea of like identity changing and the fact that everybody seems to want to change themselves in some manner. So a lot of my work is about LSD, it's about hypnosis, um, it's about lookalikes. Kind of ambiguous, but obvious, in that we all, for some, whatever reason, are, you know, um, call it, you know, beyond postmodernism or whatever, wanting to severely alter ourselves in, in some way. So in some of the works, I'm actually hypnotized. And then um, uh, I've got another piece, which is kind of homemade LSD, which is a self-portrait. So a friend and I were experimenting to certain ideas about this show and um, going on trips or journeys, etc. And this photo appeared from somewhere. And we decided that would be appropriate to attempt to make acid um, out of this picture, so to speak. And I really like that kind of um, in-between point of is it real or, or is it not. So it's quite a trippy show. It's quite, I've taken it as quite a trippy thematic. And that's allowed me to kind of have fun with different objects and, and new media. I'm still you know, fascinated with that kind of idea of myth and truth and magic even and you know, what, what's really real and what isn't. And the show really does reflect that. You know, in terms of you know, the mirror ball, which is kind of a stand-in for you know, when you're on the dance floor, you transcend somewhere else. So it's kind of, it's wizard art, you know, and it's somewhat ridiculous. Uh, the symbol piece as well, which is inspired by uh, Alexander Caldor a great deal. But I've kind of uh, put that in the now, so to speak, and using the word symbol as kind of a, um, as a wizard symbol, really, that, can, that you, can, you can kind of take wherever you want to take it. So this show I found located a blind girl and I gave her instructions. It's very Lionel Richie, hello, in a way, but um, you know, I gave a blind girl instructions you know, over the telephone and her carer as well about what I looked like. So an exaggeration of me and she made a bust of my head out of ceramics and then I cast it in and whatever. And so this kind of... Um, also perception, you know, of how somebody else can view you without meeting you, etc. You know, all these kind of notions for this show are kind of relevant. Kind of everything's kind of up, but now it's all the trimming back, really, of all the objects and getting all just the finite details, particularly with the cabinet, which won't be ready, I guess, until a few days before the show. Um, I think they should come down a little bit more. If people walk away with a smile, that'd be pretty great. 